Hi there, and welcome back to Artisan Upholstery Studio. If you joined me last time, you saw me glue up this frame and get it all prepped and ready so that I can start upholstering it. So today, I am going to refinish the frame, add the padding, and upholster the seat and arms. The product that I'm using here is salmon water-based uh, wood stain and the color is chocolate. When I put the stain on, I put it on fairly thick at the beginning, so you want to put quite a lot on. And then afterwards, wipe it off. You don't want it to dry on there. You just want to get a generous amount on, and then you're going to wipe it off so that it doesn't look like paint, so that you can see the grain of the wood through the stain. It helps to flip the piece over so that you can get the bottoms, make sure that everything is covered, and uh, make sure that even all the little chippy bits are taken care of and covered up. So here I am wiping off the extra so that you can now see that the stain isn't so dark. It's actually coming off and you can see the wood grain underneath. Some areas need to be touched up a little more than others. Um, but you just use your best judgment to make that call, even it out nicely and uh, make it look good. And finally, uh, after you've wiped that off, you're going to spray it with a lacquer toner. And uh, I like to call this a spray pan because it just covers up the stain nicely and just adds a layer to um, cover up any of the streaks or marks that may have come. It just blends everything together really nicely and that is a trick of the pros. Make sure you wear a mask if you're doing this indoors. It's very smelly. So next we're going to add a spring cover. This can be anything, it could even be burlap, but I like to use scraps of fabric that I have around to get rid of them for one, and second, because it's stronger than burlap. This is going to keep the foam from going through the springs. Next, we're going to measure for the foam. 
and we're gonna cut the foam, keeping it a half an inch bigger than the frame so that you don't feel that hard edge of the frame when you're sitting on that chair. Now, if you don't have a foam cutter, this little tool is very handy. It was $12 at the hardware store, and technically it's for cutting insulation, but I find it cuts foam really, really nicely. After you've got your foam shaped out, you're going to uh, take it off to add some felt padding underneath to give it a nice round look. You don't want your seat to be terribly flat. You want it to be nice. That's called a crown and it just makes the chair look happy and ready to sit on. Now when you staple the foam down, you're gonna go a third of the way up into the foam and see how it kind of rolls over the edge. So you're going a third of the way up and then straight down into the frame. It gives it a nice curve to the edge there so that it saves you some time and effort when you are putting on the bonded polyester, which is the next step. So you're gonna pull it to the side to get all that loose, loose bonded polyester out of the way. 
pull it to the side. There you go. Always pull it to the side and straight down. So again, you're pulling it to the side. You're pulling it, pulling all that loose fabric out, otherwise it's going to show pucker. So here we go. So pull it to the side and then add a staple. Boom, boom. And now you should be able to pull that straight down when we get there and there will be no puckers. So here we go, straight down now, 
pull it straight. Use your whole hand so that you don't get little lines and puckers there. There you go. That's how you do that. Straight down with your whole hand. Gets the pressure off of any one point so that you don't see any puckers. Now I should say also that this fabric is nice and thick and that does help without, uh, without wanting puckers there. Thick fabric is a good way to go.
All right, so that is the seat and arms upholstered for you in as much detail as I could muster. And here we're going to put the back on next and I'm going to show you that video after. Here's the finished chair and that will be in the next video. Thank you for watching.